five days after two local hospitals saw their computer and phone systems fail. Its parent company is saying little about what happened. But since our reporting over the weekend, Contact 5 has uncovered new information on the fallout of the incident. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman joins us now with the latest. Contact 5 has learned from the Federal Joint Commission. That's a group involved with accrediting health care facilities that it is taking a look at St. Mary's and Good Samaritan Hospitals. A Joint Commission spokesman said its Office of Quality and Patient Safety is taking a look at these hospitals based on our reporting. Patients and staffers continue to be concerned about the phone and computer system failures at St. Mary's and Good Samaritan Hospitals. In an email to WPTV, one nurse who asked to remain anonymous for fear of losing her job writes, the system failure could lead to medical errors. One of the most frightening possibilities we face as nurses. Staffers have reverted to writing patient orders on paper. They don't have the computer system that gives medical information at their fingertips. And that concerns Good Samaritan patient John Rodriguez. It is because they could screw up and give, give me the wrong medicine on something. Contact 5 has also learned that EMS crews in West Palm Beach and Riviera Beach had to divert St. Mary's patients to other hospitals. A Riviera Beach spokesperson released this statement. St. Mary's is having some internal computer problems and is on diversion for stroke alerts and obstetric emergencies being transported by fire rescue. Still unanswered, what caused the failure of the phone and computer systems? Bits and pieces we're getting and the amount of time it's taking to get this up in, in the way it's coming up in stages, it would seem to be a ransomware attack. Alan Krowitz owns InfoStream and is News Channel 5's cybersecurity expert. We sent him technical emails obtained from one of the tenant hospitals to analyze. He says this is clearly not a technical failure or computer crash, but most likely a group seeking ransomware or Russia or a Russian ally. Well, we do know that Russia right now, because they're pretty upset about the sanctions and everything like that, has made it a point to go after certain industries, including healthcare. That would be Russia's motive, the much damage, destruction and panic, terror as you can inflict. Contact 5 has also learned that two tenant hospitals in Massachusetts also had phone and computer systems failures the same day as the hospitals in West Palm Beach. And like the hospitals here, ambulances headed to these facilities were diverted elsewhere. There is no word if the outages in Massachusetts and here in South Florida are in any way connected. I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5. Network outages at St. Mary's and Good Sam Medical Centers. That's prompting questions as patients voice some concerns about their medical records. Craig Goldenfarb is a medical malpractice attorney who's keeping a close watch on the situation. He has seen the limited response offered by Tenant Health. As of right now, Goldenfarb says that there's not much a patient can do until the 30 day window expires. If it goes beyond that, the Florida Department of Health has a consumer affairs division where you can file a complaint. The easiest thing to do is frankly keep calling the hospital, be a pest, call every day, see when the information systems are back up. Golden Farb also warns that patients who need their medical records for additional care outside of the hospital system could experience an untimely delay.